माझी इच्छा जीवत नव्हती की स्ट्रीमिंग मध्ये आपण पैसे घ्यावे एवढी पुढे थिंकिंग की इस वुड बी नेक्स्ट बिग थिंग कोणत्याही घटनेकडे बघायचं त्याचा माझा दृष्टिकोन खूप वेगळा असतो तो खूप पॉझिटिव्हली बघतो मला असं वाटतं मी रिअलिस्टिकली बघतो कदाचित निगेटिव्हली बघतो त्याचं असं असतं की नाही होणारच उद्या सकाळी होणार आहे Anyway, so I, uh, with this new business model, and so I, I approached and I went to India and I started to approach all the producers and get their films on the board. So we had a deal with one of the well-known famous Marathi producers. We had his movies on our platform to release on 10th of February 2017. So we, have, we did a very good amount of marketing. Uh, we reached almost half a million uh, target audiences with the help of offline and online promotion I just Sol Khan and all my friends watch Dhani Muni on Indian movie friends Namaskar me Mahesh Mazhar Dhani Muni aaj the world you know the tumche desh ko kare Dhani Muni ata sarvatra uplabdh hai ikas divshi bharat ani bharata bahar release hona hai Dhani Muni ha pehla marathi chitrapat Dhani Muni ata uplabdh hai digital theater mein indianmoviefriend.com ya site so please Dhani Muni pa language movies also but the numbers were surprisingly very low and the reason was the target audience was so fixed with the watching low quality movies for free because they were not ready to pay these amounts to watch movies that was the problem and with this the funding which was coming it didn't come the funding which was assured it didn't come so there i was whatever earnings we had I had lost it the funding which was supposed to come it didn't come and I was out of funds and the previous business was closed so what to do you don't have funds you have to create your jobs to extend the visa otherwise the option is pack everything and go back to india and uh, we entered in the market to raise the capital again during this time a gentleman called Rob Moss came in our life who is working with Coventry University London campus and who also began tutoring us mentoring us on our project so i've been in business for 40 years um been working in large small businesses but more importantly i worked uh, worked done a lot of work with small and medium sized businesses sort of helping them to to grow i uh, i worked at the university of east london for some time where we were looking at the knowledge transfer activities taking research out of the university to try and commercialize it we had a big business center down there and uh, also working with the students to sort of get them more entrepreneurial which i think certainly since about 2000 there's been a big move in the uk to sort of to do that to get a lot more young people thinking about entrepreneurship and uh, it was around summer of 2016 um Gareth Lewis, uh, the manager here, he said, "Well, we're starting up a, a business centre, an enterprise hub um, for the students of Coventry University London. Uh, can you can you come and help us do it?" And I thought that'd be great, you know. I mean, because it's it's something I love to do anyway, um, particularly with with graduates. You're dealing with some really fired up individuals, uh, people who are keen with new ideas. And so I said, "Yeah, I'll, I'll help set it up." Uh, little thinking that I'd still be here 5 years later um but no it's great i love it i love every 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 opportunity that comes along is is good and you can see you can see the benefits of um providing people who are usually inexperienced but have got lots of lots of intent lots of great energy and optimism um and just need a little bit of help in guiding them there uh, on on their journey So with the help of Rob we started to uh, approach all the VCs uh, to raise funds and we approached to all the British VCs also but no nobody was interested and the problem was the share structure system within the company 
So already as a promoter, me and Swapnil had around 60% of shares. And we began with a different business model. Now we are a different business model and the market opportunity was huge. But when a third party investor was planning to come on the board, uh, their argument was if they invest, they would take subsequent good amount, good chunk of the equity from the business. Then promoters at the early stage of the business are with very low amount of uh, or very minimum amount of uh, equity and they will lose the control of business. So it was again race against time to get investment in the business and to uh, grow it uh, with, with, with some changes in the business model. And again, we started to approach many VCs. This time we approached more than 100 VCs. No one, no one came on the board, meetings after meetings. A lot of people think investment is all about the numbers and what's written in the plan, it's not. It's more about the person. And I knew this guy had that sort of personality, that drive, and the various determination to, to get there. So what we had to do was keep that up front and then have somebody else to sort of try and pick up the other bits, you know, when they started to be talking, talk about, well, how does this work and, and what's the contractual aspect of that, you know, having, that, that was, I think, really where I was helping the most, uh, just to sort of give them that sort of safety net of stuff. But, you know, it's hard raising money, you know, it's, it, it is hard, there's no two ways about it, and kept getting knockbacks, right, okay, well, let's regroup, and that, I think, is where I really saw the character coming through, that, you know, no, I'm going to do this, you know, he kept coming back. And I think that's one of the big big markers of a good entrepreneur is that is that resilience, that sort of tenacity and determination to get knocked back and still keep still keep coming forward. Rob had helped me so much that he literally was coming to coming with me to uh, me and Swapnil to meet all the investors. Not only that, Rob also lent some money being I mean I, I'm completely new person. I mean I can disappear any time, I, mean, I don't have any presence in the UK and no visa security, but he had lent some money. Each time there was, okay, this is, you know, the, the success was sort of around the corner, but it was still just, you know, just out of touch. And, you know, I think any, any business person will tell you that, that who's had a reasonably long career in it, there's, there comes a point in time where you need a bit of luck and you need a little bit of help. Uh, we've all had it and I think those of us who really understand it want to help others. So I could see they needed a little bit of, little bit of financial support. I thought, okay, that's, so this is not a good idea. I'm not gonna get this back, but hey, you know, I'm gonna put it in there. It's, it's a big risk. Um, and I think it's, it's not just the money in those situations. I think it's also you know, trying to keep those, those, the energy levels up and the sort of confidence up that somebody is there to help. So certainly in my mind, what I was looking to do was to give that, that sort of um, emotional support um, to try and show that it's, okay, it's tough, but it, it'll come round, it'll come round. Um, yeah, I can't think what else to say on that. So. Rob was very great help in the, in in that in those situation, but the situation was very hard. And uh, yeah, the Swapnil also started to uh, lose his interest, and he later later on got married. But at that time, I thought like, "Yeah, this business is not going to And at that time, a little personal, even emotional level, we were a little disconnected. For three to four months, we were quite disconnected with each other. So, I India to go to India. I was told that I was going to go to India. Personal reasons are not going to be business is a reason. I can't walk away from this business. But I can't walk away from this business. Because this is his dream. I joined it. And I was going to go to the shop. But I was going to go to the shop. 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 
so I was the only one who was carrying everything. During in 2017, my uh, love to she came back to my life. She apologized for everything, and then I was again sucked in love with her, uh, and because I was into her, and then I forgave, not forgive, but I, I forgot about everything what she did in the past and then I began to have uh, yeah we began to we were together again and now with this situation where uh, I was out of funds and everything uh, with this situation again I started to see severe mood swings in her and uh, now this time I got to know about her past and she had very tough upbringing and bitter experiences in her past. So whatever she was, she was the product of her, her past, uh, which I understood. Uh, but still many things were unanswered. And my continuous efforts was to get to know her and why she is the way she is. But again, when things started to go in close to, I mean, when I started to go to closer to her, I mean, then there used to be, uh, there used to be disconnect. So, now this time, uh, after coming closer and at this point in time, she left me again and this was for good and again, the same thing, I mean, the, there was a ghosting, so no communication, nothing, nothing. And so le, uh, after September 2017, I, yeah, I, 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 at that time, again, I was out of money. There was no hope. So this time I became homeless second time in the UK. That particular time, one of my new friends, Nikita, she was living in the UK and she studied here and then she started doing job. So she left to India for holidays for five, six months. So her place was available in London. So that was the place I got uh, to, to settle myself down. And then I started to live there. But the pressure was so much what to do, how to get off the situation and how to create jobs and it was it was an un, un, unbearable pressure and I was just cramped from every from every uh, aspects of the life uh, and in, in 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 that situation your mind doesn't work so I I was just going to the nightclubs and I just was pleasing myself with alcohol and just sleeping with random girls. In the matter of just those six months, I had slept already with more than 50 girls. I don't even remember more than 50, 60 girls. And then Nikita came back and uh, I didn't have clearly place to stay. So this time now I was living in a McDonald near Victoria Station. So it was uh, month of January. Uh, towards the end of January and the beginning of the February. I was at the lowest, no money, no bright future looking at in the future, no uh, support from anyone, family members or anyone. And I was in, yeah, throughout this time, which the funds which I had borrowed to survive, uh, it, I borrowed it from my friends, uh, I mean, from the connections. And so I was in, and to, in order to pay my staff, so I was in debt with more than 100,000 uh, pound. Yeah. So in February, I was not looking any better options ahead of me. Every, all the door was closed. Every, everything was closed. And already I had started to contemplate uh, suicidal thoughts. And uh, yeah, then the day, they arrived. So 12th February 2018 in the evening, 
I was there at Liverpool Street Station and uh, I, I had thought everything that whatever the next train will come, I'll just jump and finish, finish everything. There will be no pain and burden and nothing because I was not able to, I was able to, what do you say, to bear everything again. The, the pain of this last since 2012. So train was coming. All these thoughts are running in my mind continuously. And the moment I decided to just jump, a bright light just flashed in front of my eyes. And I kind of saw image of my mother and a message that uh, you are not coward. You have, you have struggled so much. You have worked so hard to come this point and you're not coward. You cannot go back from this step. You can come out of this. I mean, even if you would not succeed, that's fine because you have already given your best and things certain were not in your hand. Uh, so for us, you, your presence, your happiness is important and nothing else matters. And uh, even if you are thinking that you are a loser, but you are not because from some guy who is sitting across the corner in some, some village, from his point of view, you are a winner. So it's just a matter of pers perspectives. And everything just happened in a fraction of a second. And I found courage not to jump and just push back. And uh, the train passed away and I, I was standing there and looking towards people who were standing there. And yeah. So the only thing matters is the people who are close to you and then your ability to handle yourself in uh, in tough time. Uh, that's what makes your character. So I gathered courage and I came back. I came back from that place and uh, I went to Upton Park and I managed to get a family to to be with to to live to have a place and I explained everything to them and they were kind enough to allow me to stay at that place without any rent and they were giving me food for like for six seven next six seven months. Pratik bhai jab idhar aaye tab wo bahut stress mein the aur unko wo ye pata nahi chal raha tha ki unko kya karna chahiye kya nahi magar phir ham logon ne maine unko apne bhai ki tarah idhar rakha aur unko बताया कि आप देखो ड्रेस मत करो आप शांति से रहो जो होना था वो हो गया अभी आगे अपना धीरे धीरे देखो टेंशन में थे और उनको कुछ काफ़ी कुछ पता नहीं चलता था क्या करना है क्या करना है क्या कैसे करना है लेकिन सब हम हमने समझा उनको कि भाई थोड़ा शांति रखो आप सबका वो हो जाएगा और आपका काम भी हो जाएगा इतना फिर हमारे बारे में किया है कि हमने भी ऐसा किया है स्ट्रगल तो आप भी टेंशन मत करो आपको भी आगे जाके अच्छा हो जाएगा आई डिसाइडेड दैट आई नीड टू टेक कंट्रोल ऑफ एवरीथिंग ऑफ माय लाइफ एंड दिस इज नॉट हु आई एम आई एम आई कैन गेट आउट ऑफ दिस एंड आफ्टर दैट मोमेंट आई बिकेम फेयरलेस आई आई इन्फॉर्म्ड ऑल द इन्वेस्टर्स दैट आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ न्यू कंपनी and uh, that's the only way i can see going ahead and uh, to grow that new company and then i can revive the previous company the old company indian movie friend also and uh, in the new company also i'll compensate you uh, some or other way Everyone said no. Everyone said no to that, and uh, even one VC, they threatened to uh, file criminal charges. And that moment, also Rob came to the rescue. 
Uh, so I asked them if they have any options, please l let me know. Uh, otherwise, I have option to file for bankruptcy and I'll start on my own after going to India. We don't have anything to lose with each other. So no one gave any option to me and then I went ahead and I created a new company called Govido. I created this company by sitting in Upton Park. So for six, seven months, I never traveled to out of Upton Park. I was there only. Whatever best talent I had experienced or I had been connected, associated with until that time, I approached everyone. Um, normally, it's a business is straightforward. I want to sell something. Here's, the, here's my product. You know, how can you help me uh, mitigate my, uh, do my accounts and my taxes, etc. But this was a different um, idea, an idea that I thought, okay, this is different. I'm not sure about it. I wasn't sure about it. It was a different idea, so you're skeptical. And I think, okay, if I can go on this journey where I learn as well, um, because you know, we as people learn all the time. Uh, as I tell my children, and all that you know, you learn, you learn, and you teach yourself throughout life. Um, I thought, okay, let me, let me, let me see if I can help him. I was actually approached by uh, Pratik's um, accountant, which is also my accountant, uh, Moshin. He called me um, and he said, uh, I've got a client uh, that's just come on board. Um, that's you know got got this kind of uh, a new company that he's starting um, and needs a bit of funding but he just wants to basically uh, be introduced to some clients um, will you have a chat with him uh, and I was um, a little bit not reluctant but um, very busy and I said yes I will do you know a month went past Moshin calling me look Pradeek really wants to meet you can you have a meeting with him a couple of months and I think after about three months and, and Moshin calling me uh, a few times I said okay look let, let's kind of uh, bring Pradeek on board, let me have a meeting with him and, and see what he said. So I invited Pradeek over to my office and we had a meeting. Um, I've invested in some other kind of tech startups and, and uh, apps and um, um, uh, seed enterprise um, um, investments. So I was au fait of what um, uh, was on the table. Um, what really got me was uh, Pratik had done his homework, his background uh, and everything and got to the stage where, you know, he could approach um, possible investors and clients and say, okay, look, here's my model, here's my kind of vision, um, and this is what I'm looking to do. And the whole setup of the tax benefits, the tax reliefs, he'd done all that homework. So, you know, that, that was a kind of a, a tick in the box there. Um, so I met him. Uh, one thing that really like, it was striking about Pradeek, in my opinion, was his passion. Um, his passion for the film industry, uh, his passion for the, the, you know, the business that he's uh, developing and building, uh, which really struck a chord with me, um, uh, and his drive and determination. So um, um, that was a real kind of um, um, strong point, which I thought, you know what, I could, I could maybe invest in this. And then secondly, the, the, the business opportunity that he presented, I thought it had legs in it. I really thought it was gonna be um, a good sound bet. Um, and obviously with the, the, the tax benefits uh, available, uh, which Pratik had already uh, put in place, it, it was great. Um, uh, so we had the first meeting. I said, look, give me the information. Let me do a bit of due diligence. Let me have a look at it. Let me go away. And then I think we had another two or three meetings after that. Um, and I think on the third meeting, meeting uh, Pratik again, again, just, just seeing his kind of um, 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 passion for uh, um, his business and, and what he wanted to achieve and just listening to kind of, you know, from where he had come to, from to, to what he'd, he'd got at that time. I thought this is the person I want to invest in rather than the business, which I did as well. Um, he showed me that, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a good business partner to be involved with. Um, and then after that, I made an investment. Um, and we are here now, I think three, three odd years later, four years later, and, and um, um, he's doing really well. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad to be on board and they became part of this business uh, as my co-founders and, and that's how I created new company. I went in the market and, and I raised capital to create this company. Uh, during this period, I, because my health deteriorated a lot, so I visited NHS clinic and a hospital and there I am diagnosed with a clinical depression which I didn't know at all. They uh, assigned me a therapist for to coming out of uh, the depression and uh, 
in those six months, I had my depression therapy with a yeah with a therapist, and it was just eye-opening uh, process for me from every point of view. There, I got to know why it is happening with me and uh, why me. I mean, why I was like that? Why everything happened with me the way it is? Why I lived that kind of life? And it, the answer was not simple. The answer was not only in those small situations, small matters and whatever had happened. The answer was much bigger than that. The answer, so in order to understand me, that the therapist had to understand my journey from the beginning, not only my journey, my parents' journey from the beginning, and then the socio-political, economical situation of India in the world. And uh, he had to take me back to the understanding, real understanding of the understanding, the truth about the, about the nature, about the world, about Earth, from beginning of the universe. Why the things are like that, the way they are, what is your significant in the world and who you are, what you are, what you want to do. I was a product of a cultural background and a confused mind because of a British colonialism history and their uh, the negative sentiments which uh, I was gener I was raised in towards them, uh, and the feeling of inferiority, uh, and Indian pat patriarchal society, and the uh, male chauvinism. Uh, all these things were just closely associated and influenced throughout my uh, beginning, uh, throughout my life. And uh, I was not self-aware that I was part of that system. And because parents had seen, po had seen poverty and the grandparents also had seen poverty. So we were raised in a system which was demanding uh, to prove ourselves to uh, to prove ourselves to the society in financial way and uh, so the sense of happiness came from the belonging of the financial instruments and also uh, a lack of emotional intelligence they're depending on other people emotionally for for our self needs so I was raised with all this uh, confused uh, mindset and also anger of inequality in the world. Not only financial inequality, but the inequality to get recognition for any artist or any human being who are not part of uh, Western society, especially United Kingdom and United Nations. Uh, the way they get recognition and the remuneration for their talent and 10 times more talent than them from the other part of the world gets uh, ignored uh, in the crowd and everything is linked with the capitalism and uh, the way world runs from especially from Wall Street and US Senate. So everything links links to them. Uh, so all these confu and all these emotions and the feelings were not clear and I was growing up all this confusion. So self-awareness was not there and my purpose of my existence where I lie in this whole entire ecosystem of the world, it was not clear. So, I got clarity in that therapy and the conclusion was it's about the self-well-being, uh, self-mental health, self-care and uh, mindfulness.
uh, yeah, so I finished that therapy and improved uh, or developed Go Video further. And that's how I managed to came out of my problems. And uh, I also got rid of my previous debts, which I had. I revived Indian Movie Friend again. created not only two jobs but I ended up creating four jobs from September 2018 until September 2021. So in December 2019 I received extension which was the last extension of two years of my visa and in August 2021 I applied for the indefinite leave to remain which I received in September 2021 indefinite loot to remain. So that's how I traveled this journey from this part of the world with the cultural background and the artistic spirit and the emotional conditioning or the well-being to now this part of the world who is sorted and mature person. No matter which kind of background you're coming from in the world, no matter in how many difficulties you are, uh, are you, if you're from village in Africa, in Brazil, in any part of the world, if you're struggling with your accepting yourself or who you are or you have got a dream to achieve something. So no matter what, you can do it if you, if you stay focused on that and just keep working and developing towards that. It's the process of self-discovery for everyone. And if you don't have any kind of references, it's fine, no, it's fine, no problem, because we have been told all the time, okay, do like that, do like that. No, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, because it, doesn't, it, it did not work in the past. It's fine, no problem. If you don't have any references, you walk on your journey and you create your own example to others as your reference. You can be unique in your own way. You can travel, you can do your journey, you can take control back of your life. All the great leaders in the world, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, Albert Einstein, our Maratha King Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, or whoever innovator who had founded any, or not only companies, but has done some unique job, they had to go through this journey, every everyone. And that's the real learning of life. Uh, so just we should never quit on our dreams and hopes and aspiration and keep working towards them. And uh, that is the journey we should enjoy, the journey of life. The things automatically come together. Yeah, this was my story which is coming in a documentary and also we are planning to make a movie about the same story which we are aiming or pl planning to release globally in near future. Uh, that was Pratik Shelar, founder at GoVido Limited, GoVido.com, your go-to film investment platform. Thank you so much.
I had one of the old ones. I did great, right? Yeah, 55. Thank <laughs> you. 